Hello everybody and welcome back to Maximus and welcome to this Ares How To Playthrough Guide. Uh, in this guide, I am... well, guide. This is the follow-up to the Ares guide that I've just put out, uh, where I'm gonna try and create a strong Doom build to show you guys. Uh, and first, I'm gonna show you my abilities, then I'm gonna go pick a weapon. I think I'm gonna take the spear, because it's got a nice balance and it's got some slower attacks to take advantage of uh, Doom on. And then I'm also going to, of course, take Ares Keepsake. But let's start with uh, our abilities here. Uh, you can see that uh, I've chosen, chosen Ruthless Reflex and Stubborn Defiance, other than all the purple ones. Uh, I'm just playing out Stubborn, Stubborn Defiance right now. Uh, I almost always take Death Defiance, but I've been switching it up just for variety. Ruthless Reflex I really like. Uh, so uh, Ares does what I call magic damage in this game where he only scales off of general damage buffs, he doesn't scale off of any kind of weapon damage buffs. So since he does magic damage, I'm going to take Ruthless Reflex, because every time I dodge, I'm going to get a 50% increase to damage uh, on my Doom or Blade Rifts if I pick up any of those. Uh, boiling Blood I'm taking, just because I prefer uh, the damage increase. Uh, Stygian Soul I'm going to take as well, just because I'm probably not going to be focusing on my cast as much. Uh, I like Golden Touch. High Confidence is another one of those damage boost uh, increases that is going to affect magic. Uh, so it's 25% when you're uh, at max health, which is good for most of your run through the game. Uh, not so good against bosses, but you know, good for, for running through the game. Uh, and then Privileged Status, because of course Doom is a curse, so I'm going to hope to pick up someone like Dionysus uh, to round that out and give me another 40% damage increase. Um, and I've got my two uh, boon rarity increases and then fade of persuasion just so I can reroll and try and get uh, the doom buffs. So now we're gonna go into here and just gonna take the regular spear. Uh, I am taking the Zagreus spear just try. because all of the Zagreus weapons I find uh, just sort of, give, sort of give you a general buff. They're not too nuts uh, and I like that for showing how the gods work. Once you get into the different infernal arms, uh, they do different, they scale better with different gods. So we'll take our blood filled file here. And then I'm gonna take uh, one of these companions just cause I wanna actually, I wanna actually unlock their storyline more. And there's some cool fluff to using these. Um, cool, uh, I'm gonna take Skelly's companion rib. Okay, and we've got the spear, we're all set. Okay, let's go see what we got. Uh, so, Zag Spear, I've got leveled up all the way, so it gives me a 25% increase to special damage uh, speed, and speed, I should say. Uh, I'm gonna go for he four heat here, just to keep it interesting. Uh, taking extreme measures and calisthenics. Nah, I'm not gonna take calisthenics like this time. We'll take that off. Uh, and instead, we're gonna take... Um... Let's get some more enemies here. I think that'll be a little bit easier for what we're trying to do here with the spear. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Interesting. So let's hope we get a nice doom to start us off here, because then that's gonna make it easier for us to get the buff boons later on. Okay, Ares, what you got for me? Yes. Okay. So, with the spear, I don't really want... I don't want Curse of Agony on my basic attack. I'd really prefer it on my special attack. Let's see if we can get it here. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so I can take an epic, uh, or I can just take this. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to just bite the bullet here and accept that I'm not getting an epic boon here. I'm just gonna take the Curse of Pain. This should be good enough. Uh, just because it's gonna help me out here. And, oh, I can almost level up Ares as well. Uh, definitely gonna go see Chaos here, because Chaos... Honestly, I think you should always go see Chaos whenever you can. Um, since I'm kind of building off of magic here, what do you got to say? Always good to see Chaos. I love Chaos. Um, so the thing with Chaos, when you're trying to build a magic build, like I'm doing, is that he doesn't actually give you any direct damage increases, except for your cast. So, I'm probably... I'm probably gonna take this one and just get some more money. It's not as good as he normally offers, but it's only three encounters where I can't earn money. Probably should have hit that pot before I did that. But yeah, is what it is. 
so let's see how we do with this. Uh, should be pretty good. That guy's dead. Gonna ahead and just do this. Ow, shouldn't have been hit there. That was dumb. Getting sloppy a little bit here. Getting overconfident, I think. Probably just trying to talk too much. Uh, I'll take gemstones this time. I've actually almost hit this point, hit the point in this save file where I have too much darkness, which I didn't ever really expect to be an issue for me, but it is in this case. So, uh, I don't need it, and we're just going to do this. So, what you'll see, uh, what you'll see me doing here with Doom is, I can't get money, so I'm just gonna do this. Um, you'll see that I switch targets a lot, uh, and that's because, shit, there, I'm, I'm getting my butt kicked by these guys right now. Uh, you'll see me switch targets a lot because I want to try and keep Doom active uh, on as many targets as once. Just gonna go ahead and get that. Uh, I would really like to go see Athena, but I don't have enough uh, heat. Daedalus is good, though. I'm happy with the Daedalus hammer. Let's see. If we can, I would like something that's gonna make my special bounce between enemies. It's gonna be very useful, very, very powerful with this uh, build that we're trying to create. There we go. He's dead. So yeah, again, um, I'm trying to play it pretty safe, where I, once I know that my Doom is going to kill the enemy I've hit, uh, I just kind of leave them alone, walk away, because then they can't hurt me. And it works pretty well. So, uh, I don't like Spin Attack. So none of these are really great. I'm going to take the Breaching Skewer just because armor really sucks. Let's see how this goes. And uh, there we go. Beautiful. That's exactly what I want. What I've noticed is that armor actually uh, acts as a damage barrier. You cannot uh, deal damage past... Oh, that sucks. So he... There we go. Um, this guy, every time he teleports, my curse wears off of him. That sucks. There we go, got him anyway. Okay, Ares, come on. Give me give me some Doom buff here. Give me some Doom buff. Not really anything I want. Let's try re-rolling. Let's see if we what can get it with a re-roll. Dire Misfortune? Yep, I'll take that. Okay, so now the more we stack Doom, the more damage it's going to do. I don't think this is the best uh, Doom buff that's in the game, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's better than nothing. Uh, here I am going to take the... Nectar, and it'll probably level up my, um, probably level up my special. Jeez, getting too focused on playing now since I'm actually at half health, and I'm not very eager to die so early on, especially on camera. That would just be, that would just be embarrassing. What would I do with myself from that? Uh, yep, we got another level up to Doom. I might as well take this darkness here. It's not going to hurt me. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, I'm a big meddler. I'm a big, big pain in the butt. Uh, the whole reason there's conflicts in this game, well, me and Hades, that is. Uh, so, I really like the spear's range attack. I should really start doing this a little bit more. There we go. There, beautiful. I really like the spear's uh, special attack. It's just really useful. Uh, it's a pretty safe way to kill things. Uh, man, just lots of frickin' darkness. I don't really want darkness. I could really use some more boons. But it is what it is. You know, we're just gonna make do with what we got here. So I'm hoping... That was a nice little dodge there, actually. What I'm hoping for is that we'll get uh, Dire Misfortune, the uh, other Doom buff, to extend the duration of Doom so that I can actually make use of my other uh, Doom ability on uh, bosses a little bit easier. And that'll make it a little bit... a uh, little bit better for what I'm trying to do here. But now that I do have the stacking Doom Boon, uh, I could get another Doom ability for my... Where are you, you little... There you are, you bastard. Uh, I could get a second Doom ability for my basic attack. It's not a terrible option. Um, am I already to the boss? Jeez, I don't have any money. No, I can't be at the boss yet. We've only played through a few rooms. This can't be the boss. If this is the boss, I'm probably dead. Now we'll get a nice little room here. Man, that's a very strong one. It's too bad that it's such low rarity. Yeah, yeah, like I said, can't can't beat the boss yet. Uh, okay, so we got a nice elite combat. I am gonna take some gemstones. Again, I'm kinda at the point where I don't need darkness. I'll take it if it's in like an infernal horde or something like that. But in this case, not necessary. There we go. And dead. Cool. So, I like Doom, uh, just because it's very fire and forget. You kind of just get it on an enemy and then leave them to die, so it's very safe. 
Um, just gotta not abuse it too much to the point where you don't use your other attacks. Because that's a good way to end up dead. Uh, just because you start not paying attention as much. Man, they are really, really shoving darkness and keys down my throat. I'm gonna take the key here because I want another reroll so I can try and get another Doom buff if possible. Oh, hey, Than. Yeah, you're the best Than. So this is good because I can really use that health boost. Nah, it won't take long, Than. I got this. So this one's good. Um, I really like getting these rooms. It's sort of a fun little breakup, and uh, it's really easy to beat uh, Thanatos. He doesn't really have very much killing power. Even on the later stages, where enemies are a little bit tougher, it's pretty simple to just um, kill them, because on the later stages where they've got like the souls that pop out and stuff, uh, you can actually just kill the souls and it counts as a death. So, pretty simple. And we'll just do this. And you can see I'm really leaning on my special attack here. Again, just because I don't have any points in anything else, this is all I really need. There we go, so we got a reroll back. Sure was. You want to give me my centaur heart? Thanks a lot. Ooh, Thans has something to say. So I'm right... I've already... Uh, slight spoiler here. I've already gone and done the romance route for Megara. So now I've started seeing the options for Than here. I'm very cu uh, curious what he has to say. I have to admit... You're not as bad at all of this as I expected. First you found me. I, found you, I was certain that you had... I seem to have this no, of course. easy to underestimate thing about me based on <laughs> some of my relationships. In any case, I gotta say, I always welcome your appearances out here. I gotta say, I really love... Like Supergiant, again, has just outdone themselves with the characters. That's They're fair, so good. Assessment, I would say. But then again, it's never been an easy time for me. Yeah, I I that's right, then. That's right, then. Death has a hard job, like man. This. I know. What, you're telling me this is it? What? Really? That's it? That's it? Like that. Okay, guys, I'm gonna just scooch my chair forward a little bit. <sighs> I'll make sure that I, uh, cut the audio there. No, you deadbeat. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do you think I keep on showing up? You may not really need me, Zagreus, but I will take these opportunities to help. I take it that's all right. Oh, Fan, you're such a bro. I, I, I kind of regret romancing Megara just because it was sort of the... The obvious, boring choice. I kind of want to see Dusa and Thanatos now. You're the best, Than. Uh, I kind of wanted to keep romancing um, Medusa and Than just to see their stories more. Megara's okay. Uh, but yeah, I was I was really looking forward to uh, seeing more of Dusa's stories, for example. There's a lot of... Uh, well, I guess I'm not taking any of that. This should be an interesting fight. Uh... When you get the companions, yeah, they unlock resistance. little bits of uh, story for you. And I really like uh, what Dusa has to say about it, blood. which I, I like it. Weakness, I all... She takes her job very... Remarks about her Ooh. Though if you keep them up, I'm warning you, I'm... Oh, you might get nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Megara's honor, she's far too weak to do it her damn self. Nah, she's, she's, so she's pretty good. <laughs> she can kick a lot of butt. But, yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, what else are you gonna do but attack? I should really just sort of punch her with this over and over again. So something you'll see me do a lot in these games is, uh... Sorry, these, uh, live streams, whatever the hell you want to call them. Uh, these longer form playthroughs is that you'll see that I actually attack the ranged attacks of the enemies. Except for that one. That one I won't do because you can actually destroy them even if you can't, uh... Um, what am I trying to say? You can destroy them even if you can't deflect them. So Athena's deflect is really just sort of a nice um, icing on top when you already do that. But you do get used to it over time so that you can just... There we go, we got her. Pretty easy. Um, you do get good at just swiping and like negating a whole bunch of ranged attacks, which is very important later in the game or later in the levels because especially with like the Witch's Chamber uh, in... Asphodel, there's just tons of range coming at you, and you've got to be able to deal with it, otherwise uh, you're going to get overwhelmed and cut down. So I've already got Ares, I already got what I need from him, so now there's an option here. I can either keep on putting points into the magic build uh, and get like Dionysus or Artemis or something like that, or I can start investing into more weapon points. I think I'm going to put points in Dionysus here because I'd like to be able to take advantage of privileged status. So that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, definitely don't want to get rid of any of that. And... Uh, you know what? 
I really like move speed, so we'll take a little bit of boost in move speed. It's only 10. Um, I really like move speed. I think it's very underrated, say, uh, on the Zagreus Sword, uh, where it can, you can get a 25% increase to move speed and your dash range. And moving speed, it just helps you. Yeah, love Asphodel. Uh, moving speed really is important for helping you avoid attacks, as well as just helping you get in position faster. And I like being able to run around rooms a little bit faster, um, especially in the final boss. Having some movement speed is really, really helpful for uh, avoiding his attacks. Wow, okay. Got stuck there, I was too busy talking. Um, there we go. Yep, take that, and got him. I really could use some additional boons at this point. Um, I'm hoping that I can get a Dionysus boon or uh, a Dionysus boon on my basic attack. Otherwise, another Doom would actually be decent on the basic attack. Um, I couldn't see those guys there at all. Um, there you go. See, I just actually destroyed an attack there, uh, which also triggered my near miss, which was very nice. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm definitely going to go see Eurydice. If you ever get the option to go see Eurydice, you absolutely should, because you should always come here and you should take the, uh, what is it called? I think it's the Ambrosia. Hey, it's the Hades kid. Sure is the Hades kid. Uh, the Refreshing Nectar. You should always take the Refreshing Nectar. Uh, increasing the rarity of a few boons is so good. Though actually this, I think this is going to be a better option this time. I'm going to increase the rarity of my, uh, what do I have? My Doom Special Attack. And I think this will also hit the, uh, the... Doom Boon that I have. So, we're gonna do this. Let's see what happens. It'll be my pleasure. Beautiful. Wow, that's good. That's awesome. So this got one more damage. More importantly, this is 153 now. That's pretty solid. I like that. That's super good. Okay, okay. So our Dire Misfortune's better. Uh, oh, so Dire Misfortune's the stacking one. What's the other? Impending Doom, I think. Impending Doom, I think, is the one that adds uh, damage and also... Um, Time adds time to the impact as well. There we go. Beautiful. 205 damage from that doom. That was solid. That was solid. Yeah, that went. Wow, that one did 308. Where did that come from? I'm not actually sure how that happened. I spent a lot of time. Um, obviously, I record myself playing this game a lot, and I actually spent a lot of time just sitting and looking at where all the damage I'm doing comes from. And you'd be surprised. There's a lot of different sources. Jeez, another freaking palm of power. I really don't need a level 5 attack. Like, level 2 is really all you need. Oh, really? Ares or Dionysus? I'm gonna go for Ares in this case. I know that I'm carrying Dionysus's um, ever-flowing cup, but I'm really hoping that I can get uh, something solid here. If I could get uh, an attack that inflicts doom, then that's gonna be pretty good. Uh, or if I can get... Let's just not get hit here. I'm gonna try this. Skelly, give me a give me a give me a second here, Skelly. Oh, I like that. That's cool. That's a super cool little uh ability. Wait, am I inflicting doom on him? Oh I am. Cool, but he doesn't get hurt. I hate those two. Yep, I hate him too. Okay. I'm gonna take a quick second here. Uh, you know what, I'll, I'll read that later. I don't, you guys don't need to see that. If you really want to read that, you can pause it and uh, read it later. There's impending doom. It is only rare, though. I think I'm gonna grab it since it's being offered, though. Yeah, I'm gonna grab it. I'm not gonna push my luck here. Hey there, buddy. Oh, you can't even attack him, really. Uh, Darkness or Chaos? Yeah, I think I'll take Chaos. That's the that's the better option here. So we actually have a really scary uh, Doom build going on, then. Going on here. Okay, Chaos, what you got for me this time? Uh, I can get an additional cast. I can get some more money. I think I don't really need Eclipse. Uh, I'm gonna re-roll this. I know that I've only got one re-roll, but ooh, that's good. Ah, uh, no, but see, uh, three three chambers. I might be able to finish. I might be able to stop that before the Hydra. Movement speed's rough. The cast. You know what? I think I'll just get the cast, uh, and I'll pick up something for my cast. Maybe an Artemis spoon or something like that. In this case, I'm gonna go for the key here because I want another re-roll. Again, my priority is really just to keep on stacking good abilities from Ares here. Dang, that was 323. Whew, there we go. Now, now that's some good stuff right there. That's some good stuff. Okay. I like this. 
So now we've got a really solid Doom build. I'm actually very surprised that it's come together this easily. Normally it's pretty hard to get uh, all the Doom buffs since uh, there's only two of them, and Ares has 14 other 14 boons total. So I'm pretty pretty impressed that I managed to get so many of them. Take the key. I guess I did manage to re-roll into one once. Yeah, I'll take the money. Infernal tropes are very useful. I like taking them. You should unlock them as soon as you can. Anyway, so what do we have here? Don't want to be near that Berserker. Don't want to be near the Berserkers. There we go. Nice. Only got hit, I think, like once there. It's not bad. Get a little bit of money, because... Oh, we're at the end of the... Yeah, I think we're at the end of the road here, so we're going to go here. Uh, is it? It's usually a power palm, and... Um, usually a power palm in a shop, so I'm not sure... Yes, okay, it was the last one. So we got Poseidon or Hermes. Uh, I don't really want anything from Poseidon at this moment, but I definitely want Hermes. So, a problem with taking the Ruthless Reflex, the single dash, is that it's much harder uh, to avoid attacks. So I think I'm going to take Hyper Sprint here. I don't like Quick Recovery that much. Uh, auto Reload's kind of okay, but I don't need it, so Hyper Sprint for me. Do I want anything from Poseidon? I think I'll save my money because I've got Golden Touch. Wow, that actually caught me by surprise there for a second. Um, I almost ran into the lava. I'm not going to take Poseidon here. I'm going to save my money because I've got Golden Touch, and it means I'll get uh, probably around 100 money uh, since I think that I have... I should have dodged that a little bit better, or, you know, at all. So that's a good chunk of Doom damage right there. And we've got a Lava Spewing Hydra here, so... Shouldn't be too bad. The Lava Spewer isn't that bad, in my opinion. There we go. Oh, ran right into that. Did not need to do that. Definitely got a little bit sloppy there. There we go. Doom finished him off, and we can just go ahead and do this. So this, I think this, <clears throat> I think this is probably actually the hardest of the new um, Extreme Measures bosses, just because the lava all over the place really makes it difficult to. Uh, maneuver around, so weapons like the sword have a really hard time here, uh, Malphons, uh, fists have a hard time here, just because you've got to move around so much, and you can see I'm pretty much just trying to stay in one spot uh, and spam my special so I don't have to try and cross the lava, because um, the lava slows you down when you move through it as well, so it really sucks trying to go through it. So yeah, Doom, Doom's some good stuff for me right now. I could definitely use uh, some Dionysus to round it out. See, this is this is why the spear is so good. I can just stand back here, and he's dead. That's it. So if I get Dionysus next, or someone else, uh, Aphrodite would also be very, very good. Aphrodite would be phenomenal. Actually, I think I will take... I'm going to take Aphrodite's um, Eternal Rose. I'm going to take the Eternal Rose next. I was standing in lava there for some reason. I'm going to take the Eternal Rose next, because... Um, 53 gold? Nice. Um, there's a duo boon that makes us from Aphrodite and... Um, I know the word. Aphrodite and Ares that makes your doom continuously strikes at reduced damage. So, getting her next would be very good, and she also stacks privileged status. So I'm gonna do that. Anything interesting is for sale here? Nah, I don't think so. Uh, no, I'm very happy with those. Very, very happy with those. I could definitely use some more basic slots. I think I'll probably be offered basic slots for my next couple of abilities. I'm really hoping I get uh, the weak strike. I think it's passion strike. Um, yes, I will take that money, thank you. 23? Yeah, okay, I am getting additional money. Uh, here, I'm pretty low on health. And I'm pretty good on money, so I think I'll actually take the heart here. Uh, with Stubborn Defiance, by the time you get to the final boss, you really need to have some form of uh, health increase. Otherwise, you're just going to get wrecked pretty much right away. Uh, if I was running just regular Death Defiance, and I, you know, I knew I had three chances to kill the boss before dying, I would probably do that. But I do not, unfortunately, have that luxury. He should be dead there. Nope. Nope. There we go. So you can see, Doom's doing some solid work now, easily cutting these guys down to half health with almost every single strike. Should be dead, and done. Okay, so we got a nice little bit of life here. And power palm or money? Well, I definitely, 
don't need a power palm. I'm pretty sure I can't level up um, impending doom. So money it is. Which, another reason why I like chaos is money's actually worth getting now. 100 gold is, I think, going to be 163 or some such for me. Uh, which, can't really argue with. There we go. And done. So... Nope. And you can see that having this increased speed off of my dash has proven pretty useful for keeping me out of trouble here. Um, especially you'll notice it during the boss in this level, where my dash really keeps me alive, because you've got to be able to quickly re reset yourself, maneuver around, and, uh, well, just avoid taking damage, really. Um, that's a problem I had a lot in the beginning for all you new players, was that I would always prioritize damage or damage reduction without realizing that uh, it would be better if I had the superior ability to move around the stage as opposed to trying to reduce the damage I was taking. Kind of falls into that 55 extra gold. Nice. Oh, and my cast is doing a little bit more damage. Nice as well. So, Daedalus Hammer or Hermes. I'm going to go for the Daedalus Hammer. If I can, I'd like to get the Bouncing Spear. It'd be very good. Um, especially since uh, I've got the Stacking Doom effect. Oops. So, let's see here. Let's see here. If I can... Damn. That was lazy. That was lazy. Where's the other one? There you are. More. Come on, show me what you got. Show me what you got. This is Asphodel, isn't it? Ow. Okay, don't show me what you got that strong. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. I've had enough. I understand. You're real tough now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's in ghost form. And done. Okay, there we go. So yeah, let's see what Daedalus has for us here. We've got serrated point. There we go, chain skewer. Exactly what I wanted. So now uh, we can put doom on people far easier. And with this, um, I'm going to grab the ignited picker again. I just I really like the move speed. And yeah, we're going to go see Aphrodite here. Is Asterius? Yep, Asterius. So, we'll see how effective our Doom stacking is on this guy. Yep, more earthly capabilities. Who needs that old spectacular So, obviously, uh. I kinda know that one. I'm familiar with that. That's kinda. little, little on the nose there, Supergiant. Um. So we'll see how good this is at actually defeating bosses at this point. I think it'll be pretty good. I don't think he's going to be able to catch me with very much. Uh, it's pretty, well, except for when I get lazy, pretty easy for me to get around him with this hyper sprint. Uh, shouldn't be any big deal. And you can see I'm really chunking him with Doom now. Uh, so it's pretty simple to beat Asterius. He's got really easy movesets. Uh, he does two swings, and then he does a jump attack, and his jump attack is the only one where he re-aims again. So... It's pretty easy to avoid. Pretty simple to avoid. Now, I'm actually, I've gotten like almost no boons, but a whole ton of power pumps, so I'm really glad that I did this build this time, otherwise I'd be screwed. It'd be very, very tough. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, you can see, don't even need to get near him. You can really just stand, stand far away, chuck the spear continuously. Hopefully I get my, uh, whatever the weak strike is here. And that will allow me to actually use my melee attack. Sure, Aphrodite. Hmm. Wow, they didn't give it to me. That sucks. Uh, I don't like her revenge. Let's reroll. Let's see if we get it. Let's see if we get it. Heartbreak Flourish. I don't know. No, I don't want to replace my sweet doom. Why would I want to replace my sweet doom? Holy crap, 275% damage with level 5. Uh, um... I guess we'll take the dash. I don't like the dash. I think the AoE is too small for it to be particularly useful. Especially on this uh, weapon where I'm not wanting to be very close to them. So, like, I managed to get weak on that guy there. And you can see it is giving me privileged status, but it's just it's difficult to proc properly. It's not my favorite. Not my favorite at all. Um, I'm working on my Athena guide right now, and there I wax on, wax lyrically, if you will about how dang good her dash is, and I would really love to pick that up, but I don't know if that's going to happen this time. 
Got a nice little near miss there. Okay. So, uh, the nice thing is, uh, I don't have to hit the shield guy a ton in order to, de to do damage to him. And again, how? Uh, because, wow, I'm getting my butt kicked here. Uh, because Doom does such a high amount of damage, I can kind of not worry about them that much. Uh, once I get Doom on them, I can kind of leave and not worry about it. Ooh, you can improve impending Doom. Yeah, let's get another 20% damage on that, please. Uh, okay, k or Money? Let's go see k -Ron. So, I think... Yeah, okay, not not the last boss. Or, the last boss. Not the last boss, not the boss. Poseidon really wants my attention here. I don't really want Poseidon still. I think I'll save my money. Once I get to the stick shop, it'll help me out a little bit more. I do need the health. I, use this. Uh, I don't need darkness. Uh, I love Kron. Kron was the first person. I mean, I, I did a pretty good attempt there, Zag. I really gave it my best. You don't have to make fun of me. Uh, we're gonna take darkness here just to get a little bit more health. Uh, Kron was the first person I leveled up uh, my relationship with right away. Because I... Uh, uh, if you've watched my content, you may know I like farming, uh, and part of farming is making sure that you're good friends with the shopkeep. So, I tried to make sure I was good friends with the shopkeep. Uh, and it kind of worked. He doesn't, uh, his keepsake doesn't actually give you any kind of discount, and in fact, uh, you get a better, you get a discount from him by pissing him off and killing him. Um, but eh, say la vie. I, I really like his keepsake, I just, I find myself not taking it that often, uh, which is too bad. It's very, very strong. Uh, I usually save the character keepsakes for when I'm trying a serious run at the last boss on, like, high heat, uh, and I don't care about my boons all that much. So, I'll probably try it a little bit more then. I've been really a fan of the skull earring lately, because it sort of supports this more uh, magic-based build that uh, I've been playing, because it gives you a 40% increase to all damage, Nope. 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 There we go. Uh, it gives you a 40% damage increase to all damage, so it does actually work on the... Uh, I'm gonna take the... I'm gonna take the key here. I don't need the level. Uh, it does... I totally lost my train of thought there. Oh, it does affect spells. It affects magic damage. And you can see that Bouncing Spear is now super good. So good against these smaller, weak enemies pretty much just like instantaneously makes them dead. Or doomed, I guess I should say. Makes them doomed. No, no, you don't get to come back. Uh, actually, the stash is doing okay. I'm seeing my privilege status come up a lot, so yeah, it seems like it's okay. Uh, it's still not my favorite. I, I just, I think you have to get too close to the enemy for it to be particularly useful with this weapon. But, you know, I kind of like that about Aphrodite. I think that they did a pretty good job of making it so that she's very close range, which very much fits her whole, like, oh, God, it's a love. I'm gonna come up and, like, tease you kind of thing. I don't know what the fuck this was. I guess I guess that's what I think being sensual and teasing is. Don't read too much into that. Um, which I like. It's, uh, it's a good, nice little touch of character. Okay, so we've got the second shop where we've got Athena. I do really like Athena, but I've already got the... Dash, so I don't need it. I'm gonna go to the shop. I'm hoping that they'll have Aphrodite for sale at the shop here and not Poseidon. Oh well, Athena anyway. Okay, and we'll just do a quick little bit of fishing here. Always time to fish. Uh, the fishing takes a little bit of time, but it's not too hard, and you usually get a nice little reward for it. You can get nectar, which is nice. And there is supposedly a very small chance of getting diamond from this as well. It's like 0.7% or something like that. Ah, damn it. Too busy trying to talk. I don't want to sit here and just do this the whole time. Uh, in this case, I will grab Athena. Am I? I don't. I don't want Athena. I really don't want Athena. I'm gonna hold off. I will heal, and I think I'll be able to level up. Yes, impending doom again. Um, I've only actually got three abilities I can level up right now, so I can take good advantage of power palms uh, to really get what I want. And now 100% increased damage from Doom. That's solid. Yup. <laughs> I mean, Theseus, if you weren't, like, a terrible person... Yeah, no, screw Theseus. Theseus is a jerk. Asterius is awesome. Asterius is fantastic. <laughs> 
I really like this fight. They did a really good job of making it so that you always have a reason to be fighting these two. Um, like, Megara is for duty. Lurney, he's, you know, a Hydra. You can't talk to him. But uh, these two, uh, theoretically, if it wasn't for Theseus, there could be some argument made for like, hey, why are these guys always fighting you? Like, everyone else becomes your friend, but these guys, they don't, they don't like you. They don't see that. They just think you're a jerk for whatever reason. But yeah, now it's just Theseus is a jerk. He's a prideful jerk. There we go. So Doom, look at this. I'm actually getting through them pretty quick here, which I'm very happy about. Oop, and I took some, took some lazy hits right there. I gotta not have that happen anymore. So yeah, just gonna continue dodging around pretty much the whole time of what I've been doing since I don't have any boons on my uh, basic attack. There's no point in me using it. Good thing I got Stubborn Defiance. I shouldn't have any issue. I'll play a little bit more seriously now and they shouldn't hit me again. So Asterius, or he'll hit me right there. Let's see if I can take down one of them. I'll just focus on getting Asterius here. Jeez, don't you kill me, Asterius. I'm gonna look like a real, real loser. If I die here. Come on. Nope. Nope. Come on. I got the sweet doom build. I got the sweet doom build. I was trying for this and everything. Okay, I think I've almost got this. Just a little bit more careful play. Don't get hit by the spear. That should be enough for him. Yep, there's him. So Asterius is pretty easy now. All I gotta do. There we go. Beautiful. Just wait for Doom to come in and kill him, and we're good. Whew, that was close. That was very, very close. Yeah, it turns out going into the third area boss with only two, three boons? Four boons? Something like that. Not many. Um, so here, we're about to enter the final area, and I think what I'm going to do... What do I want here? I don't have any kind of damage reduction. Hopefully I'll pick up some more Aphrodite out there. So I think I'm going to grab the Skull Earring just to get that a little bit of extra damage. So if it comes down to it, I can do the same thing I just did there uh, with the final boss and get a nice little damage increase. Because uh, I think that's going to translate to another 100 damage or so every time. Ooh, and yes, I always buy these. If I see a Yarn of Ariadne... I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but I'm saying it that way. Always grab it. In my opinion, increasing the rarity of the boons you find is the single best upgrade you can get in the middle of your run as you proceed through this. Uh, so make sure that you get it. Make sure that you grab it when you are on your way. Okay, so what else we got here? What else we got? There's also usually money uh, in this area. So it's pretty easy to uh, very quickly... There we go. There's Athena, or Aphrodite, I should say. There's so many A names in this. Demeter and Ares. I want to get her first, so I'm specifically going to take Aphrodite first here because I'm hoping that she'll offer me the basic attack, and if I get that, then the other gods will offer me stuff that I actually want as opposed to... Um, oh, well, yeah, I'll take the duo boon too. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't really... I've only got the one way to inflict weak, but better than nothing. So, in that case, uh, chill. Chill would be very good to have on my basic attack. Uh, I would still rather have the weak, uh, obviously, for, uh, now I've got the duo boon, so it would be a little bit better, but I can, fast enough that I can kind of just dash in place and not have to worry about it too much. Um, yeah, lots of money here, and you can see that that earlier boon I picked from Chaos, uh, that gives me 55% more money, it's really, uh, helpful here now. There we go. Ow. There we go. And just like that, we got him. So I should be able to play very safe when we get to the final boss here. Assuming I do, but pretty confident I'm making it to the final boss on this run. Um, there we go. And you can see these guys are just continuously getting hit by Doom. So in these small rooms, Doom is less good because there's just less room to dance around and avoid damage. But see if I can get out of there without getting hit too bad. Um, it's going to pay off in the boss. And you can see my Doom's doing 550 damage a hit now, which is pretty significant, especially when I don't even have the Skull Earring buff on. So, I want to come over here and get my weak on him. I don't think I did there. There we go. We got weak on him. Take that. There we go. I think I got weak on him again right there. I did not. 
So this is what I mean by the passion da uh, dash. It's very hard to actually apply intentionally, I find. So it's not my favorite. He should just sort of die on his own. So I'm just gonna stop attacking. Yeah, there we go. Um, and again, I'm just, I'm not bothering to use my basic attack. Uh, hopefully, yeah, I'll give Demeter a nice little bit of nectar here. I haven't used Demeter that much, or rather I just haven't given her that much nectar, uh, cause I got into the game before she was in it, so just didn't really go up to it. Yep, Demeter, you're pretty good. Chill is pretty good, so please, please, please give me my basic attack. Yep. Huh. I was quite foolish with her from the huh. start. Only the cold remains. I Interesting. So I have a theory. I'm going to I'm going to talk about it here in a second. Uh Ravenous Will's really good. Ravenous Will's really 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 good. Hmm. 30%. So that 30 that is what I mean by 30% uh, damage is going to actually affect my magic damage because it's just 30% damage bonus to everything. So that is going to equal another mm, 60 doom damage, plus all the other base doom. So that's that's really, really, really good. It's really good, but I kind of need the frost strike. I kind of need the frost strike. But you know what? Screw it. We're going to go all in. We're going all in on doom. All in on doom. Putting it all on black. Putting it all on red, in fact. Get a little bit more money here. Uh, there's enough. I think there's an Artemis boon out there, and there's another boon I can get. I think... Uh, Ooh, and I heard a, I heard a, there it is. There's the fishing point. I actually just remembered, there's also a Ares boon up here I can grab. Oh, darn it. I pushed the wrong button, guys. I pushed, I pushed dash, my bad. I just suck at fishing when I'm on camera, I guess. So hopefully I can get doom on my basic attack here. That would be sick. That would be very, very good, actually. Um, oh, and I should be doing that, because now that doom should strike for 451 damage. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. So, we'll fire this out. Throw that down. Throw that down. Cast that again. And yeah, that Doom easily kills them. I like that. This is actually probably the best Doom build I've managed to get going. I don't don't want to sell any of that, thanks. Definitely the best Doom build I've managed to get going. Um, just because... I don't know. The, the luck's been good. Maybe it's because I've got all the rerolls or something like that. But, man, that Doom should take some time to trigger now, though. Uh, yeah, it's just doing it for me. It's doing so much damage. Oh, oh, I almost screwed that up. Almost got hit a few times there. Okay, and so Doom is gonna kill there. And the lovely saw blade killed over there. Get a little bit of spare money. And there we go. Get a little bit of that. Don't get poisoned, hopefully. So yeah, this, I'm surprised how well this came together. I got some really lucky rolls, but, you know, it seems, when you play this game, it seems like there's a lot of randomness to it, but there actually is quite a lot of factors that you can control to really try and uh, get the build that you want, which I really like. I think that, again, it just, it speaks to how skilled a game creator Supergiant is, and their team is just phenomenal. Uh, the music is, once again, awesome. Darren Korb is just a freaking genius. Uh, nah, I don't want that. Let's see if we can get... Come on, come on, give me that basic attack. Oh, really? Really? That's so bad. It's so bad. Uh, darn it. I mean, so... It could be worse. That's gonna activate the stacks of doom and blah, 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 but... Oh, it's such a bad... Rarity. I think I'm gonna take Blood Frenzy. I'm sure I'm gonna get downed at least once here by the final boss. So again, 20% additional damage to Doom. I'm just all in on Doom. Just constantly all in on Doom. That's that's the secret here. And I think this is gonna just absolutely wreck in terms of damage. Now I'm not gonna use the Anvil here because I don't want to risk losing uh, my Bouncing Spear. Uh, it's very good. What's the other one I have? I got the Bouncing Spear, and I got, uh, ah, oh, the Bonus Damage Armor. That's sweet, too. I don't really need the money. Uh, the heart would be good. Yeah, let's, so i am not got no more boons to get in this case, so I'm just gonna get Artemis. Uh, it's better than nothing. Yeah, I'll take Deadly Strike. Better than nothing. Uh, so in this case, I'm gonna go buy that Power Palm as well. Take that. And we're going to go ahead and get oh, level 7, jeez. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna get Deadly Strike up. It's not... Mm, I might as well. I mean, this is okay. It's only another 12 damage at this point, so yeah, I'll take Deadly Strike, and then I'll take the life up. There we go. So I don't need to buy anything now. It's just getting some more health, and getting the Power Palm, and of course, actually finding the way out of here. So... Uh, I'm surprised. I have very, very few um, boons equipped. Normally I'm uh, maybe down by one at this point, but definitely not this much. There we go. And you saw it critical there, and I still only did 116 damage. That's because I haven't focused on my basic attack. I've been focusing on magic this entire time. So it's not my... Other than Doom, I've kind of rolled some bad luck, but I mean... I'm not going to complain about this fantastic Doom build that I have going on here. Um, especially with privilege status, uh, right like that. So this is going to do... That did 500 damage with that Doom, and it's just going to continuously strike. And because it stacks there forever, I can just do this and watch. How much damage is that? 416. So that was 2,000 damage from Doom total, just on that one guy. Which is pretty phenomenal. It's pretty good. So I'm gonna just go over here and deal with these guys, just because I hate these snakes. They have, have a nasty habit of doing a whole ton of damage to you. Like, the small crystals on level 1 suck, but then the bigger ones here, they, they become issues. They become an issue. Man, I don't need money anymore. Man, I still haven't found the Seder Sack. I figured this would be it. Normally you find it really quick. Um, every now and then you'll have this... I, every now and then you'll have this where it takes you a little while, but I really figured I would have seen it by now. Um, there you are. So, I'm still not really using my attack that much, mostly just because it doesn't matter at this point. Like, ow, ugh, freaking enemies activating traps. So, it's hard to know, because I think that sometimes enemies can't activate traps, but every now and then, here in the temple sticks they can. Oh, you know what I bet that is? I bet that's a little, little detail the Supergiant added in that shades they don't have physical bodies, so they can't actually activate the traps. That's brilliant. I like that. I bet that's what it is. God damn, Supergiant's so good at this. They're so good at this. They make it look so easy. Like, I just, I, I don't understand. I don't understand how they can be so good all the time. Yep, I'll take that. Might as well get the money, just because. Uh, nothing else here I need, so yeah, let's go back. Uh, do I want this power palm? I don't think I, I don't think I have it right. Yeah, wow, I still ha have to go get the power palm. I hope it's not down the money thing, because I really don't need money. But, could be worse. There we go, just jump up there, and should be dead right there. Yep, that continuously ticking doom. Uh, so the final boss, it's, it's gonna be very effective, I think. Uh, especially since it seems to last the entire length of uh, the weak effect. So, it should be a very easy way to kill him here. And yeah, so my basic attacks are doing like nothing, because I haven't bothered to invest any points in it. But my magic damage is off the charts right now. Absolutely off the charts. And I, again, still not having the uh, skull earring on or anything like that. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Um, what else do we got? There we go. Okay, so perfect. We can leave. I'll take that. Um, I'll take another 10% on my Doom, sure. I don't... There's no point, in my opinion, on leveling up your dash attacks. They're not really designed to do damage, and... No, I don't need money, thanks, Sag. Uh, I just... I find that they're just not very damagey. They don't... They very rarely do damage. Like, maybe if I'm taking Blade Rifts or something like that, I'll do it, but... Nah. Okay, so here, I'm gonna tell you guys... Stop. Spoiler warning. Spoiler warning. Do not continue if you have not beaten the game. This is a very important boss. Okay, three, two, there he is. I don't think so this is the final boss. The uh, I say it every single time I come to him, since the game isn't so, released yet. Baratha and Gygaros ought to clash again. Oh, Gygaros. Cool. That's the Let name of his spear. I didn't know. That's cool. There's so many little details. I have played this game a lot. Like, I think this is my 90th run or something like that, and I'm still learning new things. God, I love this game. So, let's see how Doom does against this guy. I don't have any way to slow him down. I don't have any way to reduce his damage. So, uh, oh, I guess I do have weak. So, there's that. Okay, so there we go. And fortunately, 
What's really gonna save me here is uh, Aries Boon, actually. This Hyper Sprint is gonna be doing a lot of work for me here because it's gonna mean that I can avoid this big uh, spin attack there, which is really, really painful uh, most of the time. It's usually what he'll hit you with. So just like that, not too bad. Ow, well, I should have should have been a little bit better at dodging there, but not too bad. So 50. There we go. Got a little bit of the weak on that guy, so now the Doom's gonna do a lot of damage. Man, I'm just, I'm sloppy as heck right now. Burning Blood's really bad, means I'm gonna be taking double damage, but it could be worse. Um, ow, jeez. So sloppy right now, so sloppy. But, oh, wow. Wow, I got hit multiple times by that guy. I didn't know you could get hit multiple times by these guys, but normally it's not an issue for me. It's because I'm trying to talk to my lovely audience here. All you wonderful people who decided to spend a little bit of time coming with uh, good old Matt here through the underworld, seeing what's, uh, what's what and how to make your way through using Doom. Uh, very, very aggressive build I have here, so I've got to be very, very careful in this. I don't even have a call, jeez. So I don't even have a nice, safe way uh, to do damage, don't have any way to become vulnerable. Yeah, this is, this is an interesting build. Normally I have way more by now but I'm just super invested into Doom here. It's awesome. There we go, there we go. Ow. And then we're just gonna make sure, I keep, damn it. I keep on forgetting to make sure that my cast isn't on me so that Doom does a little bit more damage here. Barely got out of there. Um, so, I'm not gonna be able to kill him. There we go, just dodge over it. There we go, nice little dodge there. I'm not sure where the dodge chance came from. It must have been from the, um, must have been from the near miss I had. There we go, not so bad. So I'm able to kill him pretty safely. So at this point, he doesn't go invulnerable anymore. So we should really see Doom start to come into its own. We should start doing a ton of damage to him very easily here. Uh, it's so long as I don't get killed super easily, just like that. So, that gives me another 20% damage increase thanks to my uh, Death Defiance ability from Ares. So, it should be pretty solid. There we go. Got weak on him. Ah, get out of there. Get out of there. I want to win this. I want to win this. Come on. Come on. Play a little bit safer. Play a little bit safer here. That guy's going to die. I'm just going to... Continue staying over here. I don't have anything to prove with being in melee with you. And we'll just go ahead and... Ah, shoot, I'm gonna have to dodge. Dang it, I didn't get the dodge. Ah, okay. So we didn't quite manage to beat the final boss, but that's pretty good. I think I got some bad rolls with rooms there where I just got so many power palms. I would have really loved to get weak on my basic attack there. It would have made all the difference because I couldn't get weak very effectively on him there. If you go back and watch that again, you'll see I was really struggling to apply weak with the dash. The radius on is so small. I really don't care for the passion dance, but it is what it is. Uh, and as you can see, uh, Doom is a magic ability such that you need to target a different damage type. And uh, it's very good on attacks uh, they're slower. Uh, I could have taken it early on in an epic version of my basic attack, and it wouldn't have been as good. But taking on the special, especially when you get the bouncing one, uh, very, very good. So, I hope that you guys learned something about how Ares works. If you haven't already, check out the guide that I filmed. Uh, it's out there just for you guys, doing my best to show you how exactly to take good advantage of him. I think I did a pretty good job of it here. I didn't have to take any of his bad boons or anything like that. And uh, we actually got a pretty good use of the Death Defiance one for another 20% damage onto our Doom. Maybe take a little bit more rounded builds next time. But that's the end of this. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, there is no escape. As I just proved.